Today on the Justice Court, the plaintiff, Matthew Tiori, is asking the court to compel Alero, his tenant, to pay 550,000 Naira overdue rent and vacate the apartment. The defendant claims that revenue from her business has taken a downturn due to the pandemic. She's pleading for more time. All rise. Court in session. Honorable Judge Fumi Asaolu presiding. Please be seated. Your Honor, this case is between Matthew Chion and Alero Ekpaipa. Parties one or not. Thank you, Akin. Uh, Matthew Cherry. Yes, Your Honor. You're the one that brought a little paper to court. Yes, Your Honor. So why? Why are you here? Um, firstly, I want to appreciate this court for uh, giving me this hearing. And um, my name's uh, Matthew Cherry, as I said earlier. And um, on precisely 2018, uh, Ms. Alero came and told her stories. She was looking for a, a house in my apartment, two-bedroom apartment. So based on sympathy and the story she told about herself, so I considered giving her the apartment 2018 July precisely. So, but after then, I think she paid for one year because it's a yearly uh, duration. I collect uh, tenants every year. And uh, she knew very well that the first floor, my house, during rainy seasons, or seasons are always flooded. So I gave her the upper apartment, which is to the two bedroom flat, because I live in one and I rent one. So she paid for just one year. And after the payment, I found out she was no longer complying with the rules and also the tenancy agreement she signed with me. Uh, the utility bills, which is NEPA power bills, she wasn't paying. Um, you know, it's monthly. So she was not cooperating. She comes back late at night, which is sometimes, I told her, it's against the rules of the compound. And she had two kids. Sometimes she leaves the kids and um, the next day you see her. I, I was telling her it's not comfortable with me. But the most irony part of it is since after that first payment she made, since 2018 July, I kept telling her. I have not heard from her and she kept telling me the same stories. I was so uncomfortable with that that I had to please this honorable court to help me do either she's leaving and let her leave and I can no longer be a, and to let the law take its course. Thank you, okay. Your Honor. So, Alero, what's your response to what he said? Your Honor, Ma, for what he said that I normally come back late, that's a lie, first of all. Actually, it started when I used to live at first stack with my husband and two of my kids, a boy and a girl. We lived there for three years. He lost his job and I had a business I was doing. The business was going fine. What kind of business is that? I sell human hair, wigs okay. and weave-ons. I sell online. I sell Conga, Jumai, WhatsApp status, Instagram and Facebook. So the business was doing well. I was the one catering for everything in the house. So there was one day, a friend of mine that works with Silverbed called me and she said she has a slot in Silverbed if I would like to work. So I thought of it, I said, my husband doesn't have a job and I have a business, so why don't I give him this job? So I asked her, I said, can you give my husband a job instead? She said, why? Can't you do the job and still do your business? I said, no, the load will be too much for me. Since it's I do, please give him the job. So she said, okay. 
But one thing I want to tell you is that you're sending your husband to silver bed. Just know you've lost your husband. I now said, why? She said, you want to expose your husband to the public. He will be meeting people there. And I now said to her, if he will go there and forgot, forget what made him to go there to work, then I don't know what is wrong with him because I was working with Nimasa before, but not a full staff. And I didn't go there to misbehave. I knew what I went there for. And I knew I had to put food on the table. So I faced my job. I got a lot of advances from men and I never fell for any of them. So I told her, I said, so give him the job. So the load will be released from me. So she said, okay, get me his CV. He got the job. He was happy. I was happy, we were happy. So he started the first month, everything was going well. He started contributing in the house. He brings, I bring, so the load was a little bit released. So after the first month, the second month, I noticed some changes in him. He stopped coming home. When I asked him, he would say they, they worked late, so he can't start entering the road that night. I didn't doubt him. I believed him. It happened so many occasions. So I called my friend. I said, do you people work late? And some people will stay back. She said, no. That's how come he's staying back? I said, I don't know. That's what he told me. She just laughed. She said, I told you. I didn't say anything. Then the next thing I noticed was he stopped putting on his wedding ring. I will find the ring inside the wardrobe. I will find the ring on the table. So I will call him and say, ah, honey, you didn't put your wedding, your wedding ring on today. Oh, I forgot. It kept on reoccurring. So one day I called him again. I said, you forgot to wear your wedding ring again. He now said, this woman, leave me with this ring. What's your problem? So our rent got expired in Festac. I now called him. I said, how are we going to pay the rent? I have 150. How much do you have? He said, I don't have. Look for the money and pay. And I said, ah, but you're working. He said, uh-huh. I've told you, look for the money and pay. In fact, I don't like this first stack again. I want to relocate. I said, okay, to where? So we can look for a place. He said, I don't know. Just look for the money and pay. So the rents kept on accumulating. So the landlord came and said he wants to renovate the house, that we should no more pay, we should leave. So he now said, that I should be looking for a place, so that him is looking for a place. And I said, ah, you're looking for a place, I'm looking for a place. Are we not staying together? He said, I don't know, please. So one day I was at home. He came back from work. The children has gone to school. He came back in the afternoon. So he now told me, find your way. I'm finding my way. And I looked at him, I said, ah, what's the meaning of find your way? You're finding your way. He said, eh, that he's, he's getting another place and the place he's going to, I would not like to go there. I said, where is the place? He said, he doesn't know. So it was later I heard from his friend that he had already paid for a place at Ikorodu. He didn't want me to know. So he had plans to, to leave, to go and start another life somewhere. So that day, I now asked him, I said, did you pay for a place at Ikorodu? He said, uh, yes, that he has paid for a place at Ikorodu, and that's where he wants to go and stay. So me, I should find my way. So I looked at him, I looked at him. In my heart, I was like, is this how my marriage wants to go down? 10 years marriage. I sat down on the bed. He started packing his things. He was packing his things one by one. I was sitting down there looking at him. He didn't say anything to me. After packing his things, he just left. And I said, you're going to leave me and the kids. He didn't say anything, he left. So I was stranded. I sat down, I asked God, where did I go wrong? By giving him a job to release stress from me. And my sister warned me not to give him that job. My sister was like, I could do the job and still do the business. But I said, I will kill myself. How can I be working and still be doing business? And he would just be there. 
I said, no, okay, let him do the job because in the morning I take the kids to school, then I prepare breakfast. He won't be able to do all that. So I can have time for my business. So it's better he has the job. So he left. I sat down on the bed. I started crying. I didn't know who to call. I was stranded. I was just there thinking if I should end everything. I asked God, is this how marriage is? Marriage of 10 years. So I sat down. I now called my mom. It was my mom that was the only thing in my mind then. So I called her. I told her that my husband has left me with the kids. She said he left. I said yes, that he said I should find my way. He's finding his way. So my mom said, OK, no problem. Just wait. Let me look for how get money. How much do you have? I said, I have 150. So my mom started looking for money. She didn't even have money. And the landlord has given me five days to leave. I was there. He, the landlord would come and ask me, where is your husband? I said, he traveled because I can't start telling him this is what is going on. I just keep saying he traveled. He traveled. I was alone with the kids. When the kids came back from school, they were asking me, mommy, where is daddy? I told them he left. I don't know where he went to. So I was there. My mom would call me. She hasn't seen money. I should be praying. The second day came, no money. The third day, that was when my mom sent the balance of the money and told me to get a place. She completed the money for me. So I have just two days to leave the place. So I started looking for a place. That was when I met Mr. Matthew. And when I saw the apartment, it was OK. I said, OK, let me go for this one, because it was really stressful for me looking for a place. So I paid for a year. I moved into the apartment July 18th, 2018. My business was doing well. I was taking care of the kids. I was trying my best. I was paying school fees. And I used to pay the, the utility bill he's talking about. I tried my best to yeah. pay that. Can I ask her a question? Your Honor, please. How many months after you packed into my house did you pay? Whenever the there is, when, when, whenever there is. When you pack in, did I collect any uh, agreement fee? No. I did please. it because of her situation. And since then, she took me for granted. And you know that my kids, Your that, Honor, Ma, I'm I a clearing I agent. Didn't, I'm a clearing I didn't, agent. I didn't take him for and my granted. Customers, he was my, nice my, to me. I didn't take Most of my importers granted. are no more were important. I told you, my kids, you know, you see them stay at home because of, of school fees. So I can, you, what you're saying, I understand whatever you're saying, but it's not that my day, to, you saw the first floor is flooded when it rains. So I can't put anybody there. So you, if you keep living there and owing me, telling these stories, so for how long? The defendant, a single mother, abandoned by a husband with two children, claims that the pandemic and the consequent downturn in the economy complicated a financial situation. The plaintiff also claims that he is equally impacted by the pandemic and the rent is his fallback plan. Judge Fumi waits into this matter. Let's I'm not finding it easy as well. She didn't interrupt you. Oh, sorry. Out sorry, Your Honor. Out. You have no right to interrupt her. Sorry, Your Honor. Your Honor, Ma, I paid everything he's saying here. I try my best to pay. Even when I don't have, I go and look for to pay. I give him utility bill. I give him security bills. Anything. You paid. He's not saying you didn't pay at all. He said you only paid for a while. Yes. And thereafter, you yes, stopped. Ma. Yes, ma. When so when I couldn't, what you just said nice. when so I for couldn't, how many months? You paid when you moved in. You paid for a while, but subsequently, you stopped paying all this utility bill, and the rents as well. Eventually, that's his claim. Yes, ma. I I couldn't meet up again when this recession took place due to the pandemic and the COVID-19. I couldn't meet up again. Business when was, was the last time you paid rent? It was 2019. When was pandemic and lockdown? It was, I think, February 2020. Do you I understand? Yes, ma'am. Quiet. My business was not going as it used that to go. That is different, but not lockdown. 
So there was no lockdown at that period. I I I I wasn't getting sales like before. Okay. The sales were not coming like how it used to come. If I get sales today, before I will get another one, it will take time. And, and the money I got from this one, I would have used it for the kids for feeding or for one or two things in the house. So I couldn't meet up. I couldn't even meet up with my kids' school fees. I was owing the school too, where they go to school. So I went to him and I explained everything to him. I told him everything to please have patience with me that I've told some people about. When did you tell him that? When did you ask him to have patience for you? When the, the rent which period expired. When Which year? It was 20, 2020. 2020 when? 2020, July 18th. July, okay. Yes. And we're in 2021 now. Yes, ma'am. So, go ahead. So, I, I went to meet him. I explained to him. At first, he listened to me, and I thought he, he reasoned with me, but I later saw that he was changing. He was always coming to the house what and tell me. What do you mean by me, he reasoned with you? If he didn't reason with you, you, you spent like two years extra in the house. Yes, ma'am. How many landlords in Lagos will allow a tenant to stay in the house without paying rent for two years? More especially when they are in dire need themselves. You heard his own complaint as well. He said his children are home. You all live together in the same premises. Your Honor. Don't interrupt me again. Sorry, my lord. So if he's asking you to pay two years after, I don't think he has done anything out of place. If you are paying rent of 350,000 naira now, I think that's the rent now. Yes, and if what you can conveniently afford is 100,000 naira per annum, go for it. You just need to readjust. And when your finance is okay again and you bounce back, then you go for a more expensive apartment. That's the way life is. You just have to keep adjusting and readjusting. Because as it is now, you want vacant possession of that apartment. You have something else you want to say? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, go ahead now. I even considered her predicament, and I told her, I said, okay, out of the almost two months, two years you are owing, get me one and a half year and find how you can sort yourselves out. I, I discussed that with her even before I found out that the only way is for the court to help me because I don't want to take action that will be illegal. So I told her to cut it, and I cut off some a little while, uh, a little from the as long as she can leave the house, because now it's the only apartment that is free in my whole house. Because when it's raining, the the ground floor is flooded, so I can't put anyone there. And she knows that if I was getting that money, I would have some filled this, the, the first floor, I mean the ground floor, so I has to put some money there. And it's been a problem since, since, since then. Last Christmas that you, you, you were cooking, did you see my family cook anything in the house? How would I know, sir? No, you are there. You are there. How you would see. I know? You saw them and you saw we didn't cook because I wasn't having money. When you were frying the chicken, you think uh, my children <laughs> don't eat chicken. Your Honor, my, he doesn't even know how I got that chicken. My kids, it's, it's, my it's, kids have not been eating wheat. No, I understand. Meat. You, you, they have not been eating anything. How, uh, when land, that day when, I had to go and take that chicken on credit. When last do you see me go to clear any container in the, in the, in the my importers are no more important. I'm a custom license agent. When last, most times you see me idle. I'm facing it as well. But the truth is, I told you, okay, do, make a way to pay me some part of the money there. I can do away with maybe some months. The bottom line is, you are owing. 
And the second issue is he wants you out of the premises. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. I understand you have your own challenges. I want you to address the court on when you want to move out of the premises. That's the first thing. I just want you to agree on when you are vacating the premises. Because the second stage is the payment of the outstanding rents. Whether you live there or you move out, it's money that you are still owing him that has to be paid. I don't want to say, I don't want to give a date that I'm not sure of. It's nothing like you're not sure. There's a process that can take you out of the premises. It's not your right to stay there till any time you like. That's the law. And that's why you are here. Okay, let me say June. Ending of June. What do you have to say to that? Your Honor, I'm, I'm not desperate on her movement. What I'm desperate is that when is she paying me the money? So you don't mind her to stay there yeah, even, for even as I, long as she No, wants. no, no, the July, I can be patient. But she needs to pay me the money because that's... I just told you, I said, we're addressing two different issues. But the first is, I want you to agree on when she's moving out of the premises. Before, because once you agree on when she's moving out, it's very easy to calculate how much okay. she'll be paying you. So don't put the cart okay. before the horse. The end of June is okay, Your Honor. End of June is okay. End of June. Yes, ma'am. All right. Now, if she's to move out by end of June, how much will you be owing him at that point in time? It will be a year and... Um, How much? I want the sum. Oh, I think uh, it's 525. So 525,000 there. Yes, ma'am. So when and how do you want to pay that? I already told you, you can pay by installments. If you will allow me to be giving him 5,000 every month. <laughs> what do you have to say to that? <laughs> Your Honor, it's as good as saying she's not paying. I don't want to be the one to voice out to you when you are right here. So it's not acceptable to him. Just try to put yourself in issues. I can only pay 10 every month. You can't say I can only pay. Even your choice of language is offensive. I'm sorry, ma. Not to me, to him. I'm sorry. Please. I don't know if you'll be able to accept 10,000 monthly. Your Honor, I think um, this honorable court should please assist me to see a way she stop uh, coming and let me find a way to to how she can live and pay me the money. Because all I understand about her, sympathy, 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 I understand. Because every time she tells her stories about tears. So, but I am myself, I'm feeling so much pain, which she's a witness so in that house. She's always there even when my wife's nags are like wanting to fight me all the time because of money. And most times she I'll just had to prevent her to come to her. She's my tenant, I respect that, so I don't want my wife to intrude. She's not happy as well. But you, the, the painful side is that the house needs to be at least some field. Is it the 10, 10,000 you'll be giving me, I will say, for how long to, to some field, the compound, when you know the whole ground floor is not usable? I am also in a very big pain because I am a clearing agent, you know. 
And most of the importers are not importing now, that my, my clients. So most cases, she's a witness to my predicaments. So you telling me you'll be paying me 10,000, 10, uh, maybe on salary aspects. So where would that take me to? You it's just heard him. What do you have to say to that? I want to stand on this matter. Yeah. I'm standing down for 10 minutes. I want to give you room. Either you want to make phone call, or you want to reach out to people. Do you understand me? Before I award my judgment. This matter he has by stood down. All right. Judge Fumi steps this matter down for the defendant to make a solid payment plan. Now they are back. So, what do I have to say now? Hey, hold on, Ma, please. I would like to plead with Mr. Matthew to please accept 30000 every month and then I'll balance the remaining before, before May ending. May? Yeah. May when? What, which one are you balancing by May ending? Uh, I want to be paying 30000 every month. Then by May, I think I'll complete it and give it to him. You are confused, obviously. No, the money... This is April. Yes, ma'am. You want to pay 30000 naira when? I'll pay 30000 this month's end, this April. Okay. Then I pay another thirty by May. Okay. And I'll balance it May ending. Where are you expecting money from? Because I called my mom. She said you'll be able to raise the money. So for she you. said she she'll see how she can get the money for me. Um, you know what we're talking about five hundred and twenty thousand naira now. This court will offer to assist you to pay one hundred thousand naira. Out of that money. Now you'll be having 420,000 naira. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know. <laughs> At this point, I, I need to ask you, Your Honor, to use your discretion because I personally am tired on this. I understand how you feel. And I know where she's coming from, too. Actually, we're talking about single parents who, you know, she has two children on her. So I could understand that one. It's just the issue of self-entitlement that I don't like about her. Because I told her that she needs to appreciate the fact that she had the grace to even stay in the house up till now. You understand? And even at this stage, yes, she's owing. I know she ought to pay. And she's definitely going to pay you. That's why you are here. You raise a good question. You want your money before she leaves the premises. Mm -hmm. And she has offered to pay everything by me. I didn't just allow her to mention just any amount. I gave her opportunity to go and make contact so that she'll be sure of whatever she comes back to the country, to states. Um, what's your educational qualification? I graduated from Madonna University, studied biochemistry. You studied biochemistry. Did you ever work with your certificates? I never, I only did a um, contract job with Nemasa, so they didn't take so me. So if for any reason you get opportunity to work with your certificates, what will you do? Will you take it up? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, sure? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Judge Fumi is sympathetic towards the ordeal of the defendant. She offers support. And after the break, Judge Fumi rule. So judgment for the plaintiff for the sum of 550,000 Naira. The court is going to assist the defendants in offsetting 100,000 Naira out of the 550,000 Naira. Secondly, the defendants will vacate the premises by June 2021. Judgment for the plaintiff. All right.
Have you been cheated or have a dispute and want justice? Don't take laws into your hands. Log on to www.thejusticecourt.com and submit your case.